I'm Senthil Armagam. I'm an Embel Australia group leader here at Monash Biomedicine Discovery Institute. Hi, I'm Harry. I'm a third year PhD student at Monash University. My PhD is on studying cells and intracellular trafficking and to try to understand how all of the organelles that make up a cell work together in a very dynamic way to elicit these cellular processes that create life. The primary focus of my lab is to study living systems, how systems develop uh, and organize into complex tissues. Um, we span from observing single molecules all the way up to tissues and the only way to observe dynamic processes uh, such as folding of tissues or moving of cargoes within cells is to be able to record them live in their dynamics and that's what is done through microscopy. Yeah, so my research is all about studying dynamic organelles, how they interact with each other. Microscopy really allows us to visually inspect organelles inside cells. It allows us to understand how they work together, how they interact with each other and these sort of dynamic phenomena can't really be captured with static techniques. So microscopy really allows us to see these events happen in real time and understand how they work together. So in our lab, we look at dynamic systems um, and in deep tissues. With the Thunder, we aim to use it as a, as a primary system to screen samples and we envision to use it in, in two contexts. First one is in live cell dynamics uh, for measuring live cell dynamics for a substantially long amount of long duration of time. And this is prone to phototoxic effects when you use a laser-based system. However, Thunder uses an LED-based system, which is very photogentle, and therefore, with a fast camera, we can capture fast processes for substantially long amount of time, giving us an immense amount of data and, and insight into what must be happening in the biological system. The second context is that of imaging tissues, um, and this can be uh, live tissues or um, fixed tissues with clearing or expansion microscopy. Um, and, and when you are imaging three-dimensional tissues, you need to gain volumes of samples and, and getting volumes of images using traditional systems like confocal can be very time consuming. However, Thunder employs a very fast stage. On top of that, it employs this uh, process of computational clearing and deconvolution, which immediately gives you very rapid imaging. On top of that, much better contrast and, and resolution. Yeah, so one of the great things about the Thunder platform is it allows us to understand how these organelles are working, allows us to really resolve the dense space around the nucleus where so many of the organelles elicit these functional behaviours, as well as understand how the organelles work in much larger contexts like full zebrafish or fully large multi-3D tissues platforms like organoids. One particular example of a problem that we solved using Thunder was we are looking at cell migration on microfibers. Um, these are approximately 5 mm by 5 mm microfibers um, and you have single cells migrating on these microfibers. Uh, we do need very high resolution of the single cells, therefore we use a high N objective, uh, but we can't predict when these cells will interact with each other on these microfibers. This is where Thunder's uh, tiling became very useful because we could tile the, the entire sample very easily and rapidly using the Thunder platform and then the Thunder platform is also able to stitch them up and give us a complete overview. Because it was originally taken using a high NA objective, we can also zoom into individual cells and, and have the high resolution events recorded as well simultaneously. So one of the problems that we had was trying to understand how cells are migrating on grids or on wires and how the organelles help facilitate that cell migration. And so one of the good things about the Thunder platform is the large tiling. By being able to tile over large areas, you can catch relatively rare events and also allowed us to help follow the cells as they're moving. So with a traditional camera-based system, your cell would move out of your field of view and you'd lose that part of the, the experiment and that part of the information. By being able to follow the cells as they cover these very, very long distances, you can really detect these interesting events that were happening. So one of the great things about live microscopy is that you can follow these things live in the physiological state. The cells are alive, just like they're alive inside your body and you can really follow that as well as understand what the processes are that sustain that. So let's say you want to use a very sophisticated imaging system such as the light sheet uh, or whatsoever to gain um, extremely high resolution imaging of samples. However, these are very sophisticated technologies and it is almost impossible to know before you look at an image whether these samples are good or, or anything else needs to be done. With the Thunder, uh, it really solves a problem because we can quickly mount the sample 
uh, it's very easy to use. The user interface is extremely user friendly and therefore we can quickly mount the sample, go through, with, through the sample with computational clearing approaches that Thunder has employed and very rapidly get, uh, get an idea of how good the sample is and we can parse through many, many samples per day before taking it to a much more sophisticated technology. So it really, really improves the efficiency of how we do our research. So one of the really difficult things about microscopy is many of the experiments take a very long time. They are complex experiments that can be very difficult to set up. One of the great things about the Thunder, however, is its ease of use. The, by being able to do these experiments very fast, we can scan lots of different experiments, we can always test our ideas and see whether there's something there before really devoting a lot of time and uh, sort of energy on solving these difficult experiments. What I like about Thunder is that it has put together exact same technology, but by using all the cutting edge advanced um, parts that are available, for example, the stage, the 95% quantum efficiency camera, the LED light sources, etc., and has put together really a very, very high-end system and, 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 and complemented with computational uh, deconvolution and clearing approaches as well. And, uh, paired it up with a very, very uh, user-friendly interface uh, that helps students immediately access a very sophisticated wide field microscope. One of the things I like most about the Thunder platform is just how fast it is. All wide field systems are fast, but one of the benefits of the Thunder is the fast switching of the LEDs, of the shutters, it allows you to capture these experiments, allows you to capture these dynamic processes at the same time rate that these organelles are exhibiting this behavior and that's going to be lost in much slower systems, such as confocals. For example, my PhD students were able to be trained on that within 15 minutes of being installed. Right? And that's very, very, very helpful because students can get on with their research very quickly, not inhibited by, by the technology itself. How they are happening in a very gentle way. One of the problems with a lot of microscopy platforms is you use very large amounts of light. The problem with that is it's going to kill off the cells that's very phototoxic to the cells, and whereas using gentle, wide field based illumination preserves that behavior, preserves their uh, physiological function, and allows you to investigate them in their native state. When you expand a tissue, you immediately gain about, um, if you ex expand four times in one dimension, you you're ex expanding it by four cube in the entire volume, right? And, and that means when you have a very simple and rapid system such as Thunder, uh, it can very quickly go through a sample and get you the entire volume of the expanded tissue. Right? Um, and it will also work very efficiently with the computational clearing because expansion also automatically uh, allows computational clearing to be applied and, and uh, achieves better contrast and resolution. So one of the uh, future applications for the Thunder that I would love to see is multi-camera Thunders which allow you to get the same information but even faster as well as capture more dynamic information that can take place through multiple hyperspectral channels. I think uh, we've been extremely uh, delighted to use the most advanced form of wide field uh, imaging in today's world and we, uh, because of its user friendliness, uh, my students love it and uh, I, I, I envision that it will become a, a routine workhorse in our general imaging pipeline uh, in, in near future. One of the things I would use to summarize this experience as an experienced microscopy user is just how easy it is. One of the things I do all the time is train other users and being able to train users in the span of a couple hours rather than over multiple days has been a real time saver for me.